Hi everyone, I'm Donna from the Land Rover Guidebook channel. Today, let's take a look at Land Rover's HDC feature. HDC is Hill Descent Control. HDC has a button on the center console. Press it to activate in orange and press again to deactivate. Some vehicles have a button in the center fascia. When HDC is activated, the auto stop start function is automatically deactivated. When you activate HDC, the instrument panel notifies you with a green warning light. You will also see a white auto stop start icon that is automatically disabled. In the P mode, only the green warning light is displayed in the standby mode. If you shift to a different gear, the green graph is displayed on the speedometer and it is activated. The green graph shows the range in which the speed can be set and depends on the gear condition. In R mode, you can make the speed setting a little lower and in N mode and D mode, you can make the speed setting a little higher. Above the green graph is an arrow indicating the current speed setting. You can change the speed setting by 1 km by pressing the plus and minus buttons on the right side of the steering wheel. Press and hold the button to change the speed setting continuously. Then I'll try using HDC while driving. You can enable HDC and set speed while the vehicle is stopped. If you step on the Excel pedal lightly or remove the foot from the brake pedal, the vehicle starts to move slowly and stably descends according to the set speed even without stepping on the brake pedal. While driving, you can increase or decrease the speed setting by pressing the plus and minus buttons on the right side of the steering wheel. Even if you do not step on the Excel and brake pedals, the vehicle will descend steadily according to the newly set speed. So, you can reliably go downhill by pushing the plus and minus buttons on the right side of the steering wheel without using the Excel pedal and brake pedal at all. The speed setting can be increased or decreased by 1 km each time the plus and minus buttons are pressed once and can be continuously raised or lowered by long pressing. Please note that this speed setting is only possible within the range of the green graph displayed on the speedometer of the instrument panel. You can also speed up the moment by stepping on the Excel pedal while going downhill while maintaining the set speed. When you take your foot off the Excel pedal, it will quickly and reliably reset at the set speed. You can also step on the brake pedal to stop the vehicle completely. To move the vehicle again, lightly step on the Excel pedal or take the foot off the brake pedal to bring it back downhill to the previously set speed. Without changing the speed set like this, you can free up the operation of accelerating the moment by stepping on the accelerator pedal, or decelerating the moment by stepping on the brake pedal. HDC allows the vehicle to decelerate quickly and reliably at the desired speed on roads, such as off-roads with heavy slopes. The speed setting range indicated by the green graph of the speedometer can range from a minimum of 8 km to a maximum of 33 km, and may vary slightly depending on the vehicle and model. In our mode, it ranges from 6 km to 17 km. This time, I'm going to go downhill in our mode. In our mode, you can stabilize the downhill while adjusting the speed by pressing the plus and minus buttons on the right side of the steering wheel as if going downhill while maintaining the set speed without stepping on the Excel pedal and brake pedal. Also, in R mode, you can press the Excel pedal to accelerate momentarily while maintaining the set speed is in D mode, or press the brake pedal to decelerate instantaneously. When you release your feet from all pedals, you will descend quickly and reliably at a set speed. Only the settable speed range is different, and both R mode and D mode are the same. Then, let's look at the situation on the uphill road, not the downhill road. If you take your foot off the Excel pedal while climbing the uphill road, the vehicle will stop gradually by gravity, not at the speed set by the HDC function. In addition to the uphill road, the vehicle will stop gradually due to frictional forces on the flat ground. HDC only works downhill by the vehicle's gyro sensor. Therefore, the downhill control function does not work even when HDC is activated on an uphill or flat ground. 
In addition, when the vehicle speed reaches about 50 km or more, the green HDC warning light blinks and the green speed setting range graph of the speedometer turns gray to become a standby state. HDC is automatically activated when the speed goes down to about 50 km or less but HDC is automatically deactivated when the speed reaches 80 km or more. The HDC is not only available within the green graph range indicated on the speedometer, but operates at speeds of about 50 km or less. Please note that the green graph shows the speed range that can be set. So far, we have learned more about Land Rover's HDC. In the next video, we will learn more about ATPC. Let's see what parts are different from HDC. Please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.